This is One on One. We are pleased to be joined by Lavelle Burr-Alexander, Interim Executive Director, the Center for Pre-College Programs at NJIT. Good to see you. Likewise, likewise. Thank you. Now, describe your program because uh, my understanding is it focuses on increasing access to scientific and technological fields among traditionally underrepresented populations. Break that down. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, underrepresented populations are populations who traditionally don't major in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So, for example, uh, some people call that racial minorities, like African American, Latino. Um, others might call that uh, females in the STEM careers. Underrepresented. Exactly. What happens when they're un underrepresented and they're not in the field? Meaning the field is less diverse, number one. Absolutely. But also we don't get the benefit of what they can contribute, right? Absolutely. <coughs> and then there ends up being a shortage. A shortage of Absolutely. qualified people in general going into STEM. What does the center do for them? So we start at the beginning of post fourth grade and we go all the way up through high school. And so some of our programs are on Saturdays during the academic year and some of our programs are in the summer, Monday, all week long. But what do you actually do for them? I mean, it's interesting because mm -hmm. we're doing this program on the campus of NJIT and the whole idea is that NJIT is one of the several institutions of higher education, yes. very committed to the future of the city and, and, mm -hmm. and part of the fabric mm -hmm. of the city. But what exactly do you do for these, their elementary and secondary school children, what do you do for them that increases the odds that they'll go into science and technology? What do you do for them? Well, one of the things that we do is providing them with, first of all, the culture of a college campus. How do you do that? By bringing them, actually bringing the students here. And right having, here in Newark. Absolutely, right here in Newark. And some students can live in Newark and not necessarily come on the campus of NJIT prior to participating in actual pre-college program. So this is a, a way for young people to, to see a college experience, one, for them to provide an opportunity so that they get a chance to, I call it, uh, experience the fun and the love and the passion um, that I know I feel for science um, in a way that uh, reinforces what students get in the classroom during their schools. Do they like, actually have a class in a class or a yeah, lab so or what? Students, so, all of the above. Students will come and um, for, to give you an example, um, we have a program called uh, Metabotics that was actually... Metabolic. Meta Metabotics. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of like Medi and then Robotics. Got Medibotics. It. <laughs> so the Metabotics program was actually built on a program that we had for teacher professional development and then we created a, a summer program in Metabotics. So in that case, they're taking concepts of engineering design, the field of medicine and merging the technology. So students are getting a chance to do mock medical procedures using the Lego NXT Mindstorms kits, wow. but actually applying science and technology and mathematics in a way so students are doing computer programming, they're doing engineering design, they're learning about um, the, the kind of science behind some, of, some diseases, for example. Um, so that's one example. Another example um, is the students are actually um, creating for themselves um, uh, uh, a, uh, in one of this program is called the Exxon Mobile Bernard Harris Summer Science Camp. It's a right. mouthful. Clearly sponsored by Exxon Mobile. And okay. the Bernard Harris Foundation. Got it. And, um, and so students come and they explore um, aeronautical um, and space engineering. So students are actually uh, getting a chance, one of the design challenges in the program, so they're learning about engineering design. Um, they might do a, a reverse engineering activity where they're understanding, okay, we have a yo-yo, and actually in space, they took years ago, they took some toys in space and looked at the performance of toys in space. Okay, well, let's look at the performance of toys here on Earth and do reverse engineering, for example, of a yo-yo. How many young people have probably seen a yo-yo, but then actually taking it apart right. and understanding what's the science behind it? Why do yo-yos why do work? How are they made? And then look at the performance of yo-yo on Earth and compare it to a video of how it performed in space. How old are these kids? 
They're, um, well, in that program, they're middle school students. So let me ask you this, bring it back to Newark. Mm -hmm. Some of these kids are Newark kids. Absolutely. Some of the students are Newark students. We have programs that actually target Newark students. Wow. We have two federal TRIO programs. Um, one is called Upper Bound, and, and that's for high school students. And right. The other program is called Talent Search, which is not t searching their talents in terms of the arts, but searching, um, searching for their academic talents. And um, these federal TRIO programs are working with, uh, first by federal regulations, mm. first generation to go to college, uh, and low income as defined by the federal government, which is 150% poverty or disabled. Those are the three eligibility. And so we work with, yes, so those two programs wow. focus on students in the city of Newark. Before I let you add, I gotta mm -hmm. ask you this. What do you think this could potentially do for these young people in the city of Newark in particular? Oh. Uh, I call it life changing, mm. um, life changing for from a, a lot of different vantage points. Life changing in terms of um, seeing the potential that's right in your backyard. For, you know, to give you an example, you know, I'm a native New Jerseyan. I can't remember going to the Statue of Liberty, but I pass by it. You know, you sure. see it all the time. I used to work at Liberty Science Center, and you see it right across the river. So sometimes, and I heard in the, one of the other segments that you talked about, this is right in your backyard, and how many young people will not either come to the campus of NJIT or any of the other universities in the area. So this is a very concrete way for students in the city of Newark to come on campus, um, to meet role models, Role models, we have college students who are working with the students and the instructors. Uh, we have some um, people who are doing the instructing who are actual uh, you know, college people, adjuncts. Um, it could change, mm -hmm. sorry for driving, That's okay. but it could change their lives. Absolutely. See what's Absolutely. possible. See, exactly, see what's possible, reinforce what you've gotten in school, and kind of open your horizons. Mm -hmm. How many students have met someone in the STEM fields in particular? Very for few. Example? Absolutely. And that happens, let me tell you, a lot of us wind up doing what we're doing professionally because we met someone Absolutely. who we admired, respected, and taught us something, and we said, hey, wait a minute. Exactly. I could. And so uh, Lavelle Burr-Alexander from the Center for Pre-College Programs at NJIT, you are, in fact, you and your colleagues are changing lives, particularly Absolutely. for young people in Newark. I want to thank you so much. Absolutely. We you appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Great You're job. You're quite welcome. Thank Stay you. Stay with us. We'll be right back from the campus of NJIT right after this. That was great. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJIT has been provided by New Jersey Institute of Technology, Prudential Financial's Global Communications Department, Barnabas Health, TD Bank, Josh S. Weston, The Fidelco Group, and by PSE&G. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.